What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, today, we're going to be checking out the Goku vs. Majin Vegeta statue by KD Collectibles. This is one I knew was coming. Uh, he says, this is our most ambitious project to date, with no detail spared in bringing this scene to life. Multiple LEDs on all blast effects truly captures the intense battle of Goku vs. Vegeta. Okay, and we wanted to create an original scene that gives a fresh and exciting insight into this iconic fight. The renders were difficult to capture all the detail and transparent parts, but the physical product will bring everything to life. So they're doing this, uh, you know, pre-order just off a concept. So it's not a physical product. They haven't done a pre-order off a physical product in, like, forever. They always just do these. You know, so this is it. Check it out in all its glory. So, typical KD base, quite a small base. Uh, it's almost slightly too small to hold this entire diorama. I'm almost slightly worried, is it going to be able to hold everything? Uh, but small black underbase, and then you have these rocks exploding out, aura exploding out this way. Well, not aura, that's actually a fireball. It's kind of perspective, actually, because Vegeta is doing the attack where he basically throws tons of energy blasts, you know, like with each hand. Now, it's a classic Vegeta, you know, where he just throws a bazillion fireballs. So this is actually a giant fireball, another little one, two little ones over here, and he's charging up two to shoot. You know, this one's about to shoot out, and this one's just charging. Goku basically looks like he's doing Kamehameha. You know, and his energy is charging. So, yeah, and then you have kind of just like dusty clouds that are brown and then some rocks. You know, because they were, where they were fighting is just tons of rocks and really just brown. Uh, there wasn't like any greenery or anything. They were just like in the, you know, rocks area when they were fought. So yeah, really cool concept. I like this. Uh, let's check out the, uh, you know, like digital sculpt renders of them. Uh, fantastic likeness. Vegeta has a slightly evil smirk. Goku's angry, sh charging up his ha. You know, he's like hame hame ha. Pretty good likeness. Uh, you no, know, definitely recognize it as Goku. Good battle damage. Good texture work. There's aura around him. He has his halo. You know, it's Super Saiyan 2 version. Vegeta. Interesting. They did uh, different uh, electricity effects around Vegeta, which I like. Uh, his is the yellow version. Goku is the blue. You know, which I actually like. That gives some different shade between the two. It's going to be crazy when this thing's actually, like, physical. Because the renders do look phenomenal. Yeah, you can see the texture work on the glove, the veins on the hands. They've definitely been working on this for a while. It's going to be a long time before we see a physical render of this. Probably six months. I mean, we still don't have a physical prototype of Z-Warriors. Now we're not for PO six plus months ago. Once you do get a physical prototype, then it's usually about another six months before production is done. So it usually takes about a year from what I've found before you could get the KD product. Yeah, very, very cool. So we don't have the, let's go to their official website. So the deposit's basically 500 bucks. It says releasing Q1 of 2025. So, like I said, basically almost a year. You know, we just... Well, Q2 is actually ending today, but... Yeah. Nine plus months before it potentially will start to ship. I did see some uh, dimensions. Uh, not here, but on some other, you know places and they basically listed it as 37 inches tall almost 38 30 inches wide and about shy of 20 inches in depth yeah so it's 990 total plus shipping shipping if you order from natsukashi creation KD's website, you're looking at probably, 
three to five hundred bucks is my guess. Most other retailers, you know, like Kyle Land, Hexapexis, Statue Corp, they're all listing it for thirteen fifty shipped. Around that thirteen fifty. Uh, now, if you order through KD, you will get it like shipped a little sooner because. You know, all these will be made at a factory and then KD will ship all his product and then he'll ship all of his, you know, extra stock to his retailers. So they'll get it like, you know, a few weeks later. So if you want it sooner, you order it through KD. Now, the nice thing about ordering through one of the three retailers I mentioned, you get a shipped price. So if, let's say shipping rates go through the roof next year. And KD's all of a sudden charging $700 for shipping through Kyle Land or Hexapist or Statucorp, you already locked in that price. So they're going to honor it no matter what. So that's the one really nice thing. Uh, in terms of like, you know, customer support, they all have to work through KD to get any replacement parts. I definitely could foresee some parts being damaged. There's a lot of spiky stuff, a lot of translucent resin. This actually will probably ship in two boxes, is my guess. You know, considering the amount of parts, I mean, pretty much, I bet you everything from Blast Up is going to be separate from that base. And Goku, all the blue will be separate, and probably that cloud separate. So you're going to have a lot of pieces to this. So as long as it's packaged good, it should be fine. I'll say this, though. I think this is the best diorama in one-fourth I've seen. You know, this beats out anything else KD has done. You know, if you look at his website. The other dioramas. We have this Gogeta vs. Broly. Gohan vs. Androids. Goku vs. Frieza. And, and that's all he has up here in this website. Yeah, this definitely is the best. It's, you know, I like Androids a lot. I love that Goku vs. Frieza as well. That's really sick. The Gogeta vs. Broly is my least favorite. I, I just honestly don't care to own that version of Broly. Like, you go classic or don't do them at all. I don't like that version of Broly. Yeah, but this is sick. I really like this. It's going to be big. It's going to have KD detail. Now, the last Goku vs. Vegeta that I really liked, of course, was the Exceed one. The Exceed one was great. You know, it had... So much potential. It was also very big. It was slightly overscaled. The base was too big on that one. I mean, that base was like 30 inches in diameter, which made it very hard to display. The characters were very blocky, and the detail was definitely outdated. DBZ, I've kind of seen come in three folds of detail. Well, four. First, you have the original defunct Shung detail, which was just not good. It looked like a garage kit. Something some dude did in this basement, just not very good. That was when I first got into collecting. Then you had VKH and, you know, MRC and Exceed, which was like no textures, but the sculpts were really good. And the paint apps were very vibrant and they looked good. And then the next tier would have been like when Xeed did Dragon Fist and we started to get some texture works, getting one fourth scale, you know, and it was definitely looking better. It was similar to the previous one. It just added texture, really. And then the next level was really KD, where you had extreme textures, more realism, better paint apps, more realistic, overall just better sculpts and basically like Prime 1, Sume level, you know, KD level, you know, and... I'm definitely the biggest fan of that. That's why I've sold off every previous tier of detail. Like, only my KD, Sume, and Prime 1 style of detail remain in my collection. And conceptually, I definitely prefer this over the Exceed. That one, they were just, like, grabbing a knee and a hand. This is way cooler. Way cooler. So, yeah, I'm a big fan. Uh, now... I would love to buy this, and I'm still tempted just to get it and say F it, but I don't know where I could put this, folks. I really want this, though, because I freaking love it. It'll probably be the best Goku vs. Vegeta we'll ever get. You know, maybe Sume could top it, maybe, but here's the thing. Are they ever going to do this? And if they did, we're probably 300 years out. So, yeah, 
This is super cool, folks. Now, in my main, I mean, it's 20 inches deep. Let's think about this for a sec. In my main DBZ display, there's only one place I can fit a 37 inch tall statue. And that's up here. You know, cause this bust is like 38 inches tall. Every other shelf can only fit like that, only fits 31 inches. These are all two feet each. You know, even that couldn't fit it. So the only place I theoretically could fit it in the main DBZ display is here, which as you can see, I'm not gonna fit a 30 inch wide diorama there. like. Even if I say, let's say I decided to scoot the Vegeta bust completely to the right, scoot that completely to the left, it still would not fit. I could fit maybe a 20 inch, but also those busts weigh so much and I don't know if I'd want to put that diorama, which is probably going to weigh so much up there. You know, and this where he looks like really clean and I just got like all these little proximity pieces. There's just no way I could fit a diorama in between those two. I have seen people do a Gohan bust in a garage shelf with these two, but it does look cluttered. I like how clean it is right now. So there's definitely no way to fit it here. Now, being only 20 inches deep, I actually could technically throw it here. Now, is that me or is there a freaking little bug flying around? Ugh. Bugs just fly in the moment you open the door. It's annoying. Yeah, like uh, 30 inches would basically be like two glass shelves. Those are 16 inches wide. And it's 20 inches would be about Tanjiro-ish because he's like around that. So it would stick out a little bit, but I could definitely fit it right there. I mean, I could technically put it right behind Tanjiro if I kept him there. You know, alternatively... I kind of feel like if I did want to do DBZ there, so I'd put some, you know, I'd probably make it a Majin Vegeta setup and do that diorama with a Majin Vegeta bust, not one with like an arm forward like that pose, because that's just too much. It'd have to be one that's similar to this bust, you know, like this bust isn't very deep because he's just folding his arms, but like, let's say KD did a bust like this or... You know, something not super deep. I could uh, easily fit like that KD bust next to a Majin Vegeta and Goku diorama there. That could work. And it's right behind DBC, so it kind of like works. You know, you just... I would definitely consider this. I would love... I know KD's eventually going to do a Majin Vegeta bust. I just hope it's not some... Because there's only one really good one in the market, and it's the arm forward one, which is like 40 inches deep. You know, and that alone is just like, yeah, I'm never buying that. I, how could you display that? Displayability is so difficult on a deep, deep bust. Like, so hard. But yeah, if I did the diorama, I'd want a Majin Vegeta bust next to it. I don't think I'd want to do multiple enemies next to it. I'm still considering getting a Naruto statue, the Iron Kite one. I really like that one. You know, and I love Naruto. I think it's so good. I actually really want to rewatch the anime. It, I just don't have the time because I have other things I want to do. But when I eventually have, like, let's say a month with no good video games, no good TV shows, I'm going to rewatch Naruto, the whole freaking thing from the beginning to the end. When he was a little annoying kid <laughs> to the end of the Great War. I never actually watched Boruto. Is that good? Anyways, folks, let me know what you guys think of this uh, Goku versus Majin Vegeta. I'm tempted to throw down a pre-order because this one probably will sell out. I mean, right now I obviously got that Vegeta, which I freaking love, but doing a gigantic diorama like that, oh, Jupiter's cock. In a perfect world, I'd actually have it right there. Because as you see, I'm kind of doing like a whole villains and I got multiple dioramas down there. Like if I had the height space and the width space, you know, because I'm doing also in order of kind of how it happened from Frieza, Android Cell, Goku for Smudge and Vegeta, Kit Boo. 
that would be a perfect world. Like if this was, uh, I mean, you would need a 60 inch wide garage shelf and remove the Androids to make it fit, but, <laughs> uh, and obviously raise this to that height. Cause that's only maybe 28 inches of height there. You'd need 10 more inches to make that fit. Anyways, folks, let me know what you guys think of this Goku vs. Majin Vegeta. Any of you planning to pick it up? I mean, there's no effing way another unlicensed company will ever top this. Like, you know, I've seen the one by Last Slate. Can't touch a candle to this. Revenge Studios, any other studio, you name it. None of them will come close to this. If you want the ultimate Goku vs. Majin Vegeta, KD just made it. You know, unless Prime 1 decides to make it, or Sume, which even still, KD's at that level, and the odds of them making it are so low, I think this is it. This is the opportunity to own the best Goku vs. Majin Vegeta statue ever created. So that's why I'm just like, Jupiter's cock, I gotta get this. I love Goku vs. Majin Vegeta. Always. Ever since I started collecting. Maybe this just needs to be another DBZ instead of something else. Anyways, folks, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.